How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm just going to be showing you on how mushroom spores look like down the microscope. So I actually obtained a little culture of mushroom spores from a, a spore print. So I just I just want to show you on how, can, how you can make that in my next video so soon. So I just set, that, set all that up in a syringe. I just got it cultured with some broth. I just use some malt extract with it so that actually it nourishes the spores with some carbohydrates pretty well. So I dropped a small drop of it and I'm just gonna put on a cover slip over that. I actually got my table pretty clean but still they're just shining with a lot of stains and all that. So I'm just shaking it around for a moment because uh, the spores coagulate a little. So I just wanna get them separated. So the globular structures which you are able to view in the microscope are nothing but the spores. These are the spores of a mushroom named as Calocybe indica, which is an Indian mushroom. It's rich in protein, carbohydrates, and also you must be able to view some little structures moving all around. They are nothing but the bacteria. So as I said before, that I actually use some nutrition broth, which also nourishes those back bacteria, and that and they kind of like grow out. And we were able to view some bacillus species bacteria, some cocci, and a lot, a lot more. And I just wanted to apologize that those black screens are getting on higher and higher, and I'm getting helpless in just adjusting that camera on a single place. Sorry about that. Thankfully, uh, here here's a clean place where we can able to view the spores much more clearly. So this is actually on a 1500 times magnification. And sometimes you also will be able to view a little structure like a nucleus in the spore of that of that particular uh, a little structure. But according to, uh, to the theory, the, a spore doesn't have a nucleus, so it must be some structure which nourishes the spores and the contents of the spores. So this is a different view where I just got a little like more contrast over that. Just got a little adjusted that to it to a different contrast to, to to get a better view of it. So this is the 450 times magnification, where you must be able to view more spores in a single bit of area. The color has been changing because the reason these are the microscopic particles, so the light changes pretty much because of the different lens we use and kind of things getting different. And also you must be able to view some big clumps of spores which get coagulated as I said before. And you just got to get them split apart. This is actually for a little like a demonstration video for you guys. So we went to the top, just getting to the smallest magnification. This is the 150 times magnification, where you must be able to view the spores pretty much small. With the little structures that are different, that they're nothing but the spores taking a little shape just when they get coagulated. And thank you so much for watching. And please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos and latest updates.